In reflecting on the history of photography, it's apparent to me that new tools are introduced on a regular basis. I like to work with the most appropriate tool for whatever parameter or project that I'm engaged in. I do work with silver and I do work with digital. I often work with a scanner. The amount of detail, um, the depth to which the scanner can reveal information on a, a two-dimensional surface is really immense that I think can help animate the imagination of the audience and the viewer and actually kind of bring, bring these things to life in a different way. In 2006, I uh, embarked on a project called the New York City Museum of Complaint in which I, uh, through a documentary photography project, discovered the uh, received correspondence of the mayor of the city of New York, which was stored in the basement of uh, the Department of Records and then proceeded to spend about a month and a half simply reviewing and importing individual letters received by the mayor from 1751 to 1969. Henceforth, I produced a newsprint edition which I distributed in Lower Manhattan as a public art project, and that led, um, through subsequent exposure, to the publication of a book with Steitel Miles, which is a, was, was released two years ago in 2009. Between 1884 and 1911, um, a gentleman named Jules Massier decided to create a comprehensive picture collection for the future use of artisans and designers in Paris. It ended up being 4,700 volumes. So I decided to embark on a project by which I went through and selected one volume per category of the 493. And from each volume, I selected 10 images to start with. And then through an editorial process, I reduced it down to a single image from each category. From that, I've developed a 56-page newsprint edition, which has been distributed or is being distributed right now in Paris at the museum, as well as at locations around Paris. There is often in my work a cultural interest, a political interest, and a kind of critical interest. And that, I'm, in this case, I was trying to bring those things out and then present them again to the public. What makes the right beat the right beat? Um, you can't really, you can't really say until you hear it. And then when you hear it, you can maybe rationalize that. But I think as artists especially, that's one of our areas of expertise, is feeling the appropriateness of the edit or the image or the sequence, whatever it might be. This is one of the things that I strive to do in my own work and I hope to kind of pass on to students I work with.